Undocking confirmed. After 167 days in orbit and an 11 hour journey home, four people in that sucker. Oof. Seen streaking across the Californian sky. Splashdown of Crew 11. A first successful medical evacuation from the International Space Station. That's NASA astronaut Zena Cardman wrapping up her first mission to space. All four of the crew appeared in good spirits, but their mission was cut short after one suffered a medical emergency whilst in orbit last week. For privacy reasons, NASA won't tell us who or exactly what was wrong with them. It was a serious medical condition. In that respect, it was a serious situation. The astronaut in question is fine uh, right now, good spirits. All four have now been taken for full medical checks. Sad, but uh, they're professional and they understand what happens when you fly in space. Three, two, one, mission. Crew 11 originally left Earth back in August. In their five months on board the ISS, they've orbited Earth 2,672 times, carrying out 900 hours of scientific experiments shortly before a scheduled spacewalk, the distress signal went out. The unwell astronaut was stabilized in orbit, giving the others a chance to hand over their experiments to the remaining crew and NASA and SpaceX time to plan the evacuation. While we would never want something like this to happen, at least we know that it, it can happen and it can be done very, very smoothly. There are perhaps some lessons that are being learnt uh, so that they can understand what needs to be done in the future. I so feel for those coming back to Earth sooner than they would have otherwise intended to. As Britain's first astronaut, Helen Sharman knows all about the dangers of space. The microgravity environment means that your body fluids naturally distribute differently. They more come towards your head in space. Um, they won't, you don't get the same kind of blood flow, so you're more likely to get perhaps heart arrhythmias, you're more likely to get blood clots. One of those was discovered in an astronaut mid-mission five years ago. They were treated in space, but with longer manned missions planned, including going round the far side of the moon later this year, NASA says it's reassessing whether doctors will need to be on future flights. But there will be a time that NASA will embark on missions to Mars, and in that circumstance, um, you know, likely the human body is going to potentially fail before, uh, before some of the technology that's enabling it, in which case having medical professionals um, you know, that are available on those type of missions. There are athletes training who are already doctors, including Britain, John McFall. But that's for the future. Today is about the successful evacuation from the vacuum of space. Martin Stew, ITV News.